Hey folks, this is an overview of our online payments portal. Uh, the online payments portal is quickly defined as the ability to take the programming that you build in Team Builder and put it up for sale online. So we automate the process of taking a payment for access to a program and having that person uh, get onboarded on the Team Builder app all automatically without the coach having to lift a finger. So uh, a couple of frequently asked questions I wanted to get out of the way before we get into the overview. Uh, the online payments portal is included in a paid team builder subscription. So if you subscribe to the silver plan, the gold plan, the platinum plan, you now have access to the payments portal. Um, we also do not take any commissions on sales made. So if you are paying for the gold plan at $80 a month, um, then you are playing a fat, paying a fat, flat fee of $80 a month. You are not paying anything extra. Um, do subscribers count towards my uh, athlete count uh, according to my plan? So the answer is yes. If you uh, get people to subscribe to your programming through the payments portal, they will count towards your athlete count. So if you are on the silver plan, you have 50 athletes. If you train 20 of them manually, and 10 through the payments portal, then you're going to have 30 athletes counting against the 50 that you have allocated on that silver plan. Uh, payment processing is done through our partner Stripe. It's an online payment processor. Uh, the Stripe processing fees vary by country. So make sure to check out this hyperlink uh, to see what the pro processing fee is uh, for your country. That will be the only cost that you will incur when you sell training programs via Team Builder. My Team Builder account is paid through my employer. So usually if someone has a Team Builder account through a school or an organization, this is um, not necessarily the best way to create an enterprise business on your own uh, on an account that you're, is paid for by your employer or your school. So we highly encourage you to create an additional Team Builder account, which means that you will have to pay uh, an, an additional fee for that unique account, but it does separate your business from the license that is paid for by your school or employer. Um, if you don't plan on using the payments portal, you can remove the tab from your account. Uh, no worries. You can also give uh, access to the payments portal to specific coaches within your account instance. And then in terms of pricing, you can price your programs and charge clients on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis, a six month basis, or an annual basis. You can also create a one-time purchase for a program or make a program a recurring purchase. And then as far as integrations, of course, we integrate with Stripe. And then we also integrate with Zapier, uh, which is uh, an application that allows you to connect your Team Builder account to a variety of other apps on the internet, including MailChimp, your uh, favorite CRM, whatever you want to use. So now that we covered some FAQs, let's talk a little bit about how to actually use the payments portal. So the payments tab shows up here if I click it. Uh, you can see that we will need to activate this payments portal account. So in order to activate, we're going to be asked a few questions. For one, your account name. So this is essentially the brand of what you will be using when you uh, present your online payments portal online. So in this case, let's just call it old school performance. And then your account URL is what shows up whenever you advertise a link to one of your programs or a menu of your programs. So if your name is particularly long, uh, maybe think about keeping this short. In this case, I'll keep it uh, old school performance. And then lastly, your contact email. This is going to use by default um, your email address that you use in Team Builder, but you can change it if you'd like. The next thing we need to do is link a Stripe account. So Stripe is a free service. It doesn't charge until you actually make money, uh, which is that credit card processing fee. So if you have a Stripe account, you can go ahead and connect it here. If you don't, you will be prompted to create one. So I'm, I'm actually not going to go through this process because it's fairly straightforward. Um, so the next screen that you will see will be assuming that I linked or created a Stripe account and then connected it to Team Builder. Okay, so now I'm at the dashboard of my payments portal uh, page in my account. So in your case, this might be blank. In our case, we have quite a few programs built out. Um, so let me take you through the process of creating a new program. So on the bottom right, if I click this plus sign, it's going to take me to, through a flow to create a training program. So in this case, if I say football in season, um, then I can say get uh, stronger while playing. This is a tagline, right? And then description, you can say this is a two-day-a-week program that 
emphasizes uh, strength during the season. All right, just an example. And then now we're going to have a program URL that will be auto-generated based on our program name, but you can change this if you'd like. This will basically build a URL that you can share that's going to be specific to this program that you have for sale. Uh, the redirect URL means that after a subscriber purchases this program, you can redirect them to like a welcome page. So if you have a website builder or, or a web page builder, you can create a welcome page and kind of put that URL here, and then we'll know to redirect them after they purchase. The program header image is going to be an image that shows up as like the background on the landing page. If you don't put anything here, you also have the option of using like a default image uh, in your settings, which we'll cover. Program status active, that means that as soon as you set this up, it's going to be live. You can also keep it inactive and then activate it anytime in the future. All right, next step is to choose the calendar assignment. So in my case, football is a pre-built program. So uh, pre-built is different from ongoing. Uh, ongoing would mean that if people sign up for your program, it's going to actually add them to the calendar um, the day that they buy it. And that would be like if you had a monthly recurring program that you just build new programming for on a monthly basis, they could just hop right in. So pre-built programming, let me choose this. Uh, first workout is on, and then now I choose a date. So let's just assume that it's going to be uh, September 3rd as my first day of the program, right? Um, so this is going to be a three-month program, and the first day of this actual program starts on September 3rd, 2018, because that's where the program is actually written on my calendar. And then I can go ahead and say that the subscribers should start on a Monday, which means if they buy it on like a Thursday, they'll start the following Monday. And that's what I want uh, because this program sticks to a pretty original schedule. Uh, just so you know, ongoing program, if I click it, it's just going to throw the client right into the calendar the day that they buy. So this would mean that you're actually writing programming on a continuous basis, whereas this will just throw them on uh, the day that you designate. Uh, and even place it on a Monday. So group assignment, this also allows you to add someone to a group in addition to adding them to a calendar. And then you can go ahead and click next step. Billing frequency, monthly, three months, six months, yearly. In this case, I'm gonna charge for a three month program up front. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is gonna be 150 bucks for three months of programming. So it's gonna charge them up front for that three months and then that's it. And then we have to put max number of billing cycles equals one. So that means that after a billing cycle, in this case, three months, we're not gonna charge them again. Now, if it was a monthly program and I was charging $50 a month, then I could go ahead and just say no max billing cycles, charge them monthly at 50 bucks. And that means that it's gonna charge them on a recurring basis um, until they decide to cancel. I can also offer a trial period, which means they enter their credit card information into Team Builder and it will charge them when the trial is over. They have the ability to cancel uh, before their trial period is up. Uh, this is the breakdown of how much you will net based on your sales. So the program is 50 bucks. Uh, processing fee in the US in this case is $1.75. And then there is no team builder fee. So you net $48.25. And then you have to verify that this is your intellectual property. And once you build this and submit, you now have a program built. So football in season now sits here. If I click the dot, 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 I can use this preview. And then I have two URLs. One is a program URL. So if I go ahead and click this, um, it's actually going to uh, let me see if I can just paste this into my window. This is actually going to take you to a full landing page. So it's going to show you football in season. It's going to give you the description. You can have the buy now button, which allows you to purchase. Um, and that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is to use uh, what we call the checkout link. So the checkout link is basically like an accelerated, abbreviated version of this program URL. So the idea behind this is that you can actually hyperlink this behind a button on your website so that if you have a website and you have a button that says buy now, this will actually take them through the checkout process so that they don't have to click buy now on your website and then click buy now again on our landing page. This just takes them right to the checkout process. Okay, so that's a little bit about the links that we provide.
Now, the next couple of things that we'll cover are on the left-hand side. You can manage your subscribers here. You just have to go ahead and click on someone. You can change their email, change their name. You can update their credit card information. You can view all their past charges. And if I view past charges, I can actually refund this user. So if I can refund right here in Team Builder, I can also view the receipt to send them the receipt if they request it. Uh, also, I can cancel their plan here. So refunding, cancellation, updating of information, it all takes place here in the subscriber page. You can also create coupons for your uh, programs. So if I have a coupon and it's called test in this case, um, this one is a coupon that the code is test 10. 10% off for 10 months, and I'm only allowing 10 redemptions. So the coupon creation process is fairly straightforward. You create the code, you give it a description. You can choose to make it a fixed amount, like $5 off, or you can make it a percentage amount off and then give it a percentage here. And then you can choose how often you want it to be used, either one time, repeating, or used forever. And then here you can set it, uh, give it an expiration date, and then you can also use maximum number of redemptions, which if you only want 100 people to use this, and you can choose 100 and create coupon, and then now you're going to have 100 redemptions, and then it will be maxed out. Next is integrations. Stripe is already connected because you have to connect Stripe before you can actually uh, use the payments portal. Next is Zapier. Zapier is a great tool that allows you to connect with many apps uh, like uh, MailChimp, Slack, uh, Google Docs, what have you. So a good example is that you can use Google, Do um, I'm sorry, MailChimp, so that when someone subscribes to a program, it will sign them onto a list uh, in MailChimp, and then you can have an automated campaign that will automatically send them a welcome email. So that's an example of a way you can use Zapier, but really the possibilities are endless when it comes to using the Zapier integration. Lastly, in the settings, this is where you can manage your account name, your contact email, uh, your base account URL, which again is that short little ending uh, to this URL that brings people to a menu of your programs. You can customize the fonts that show up on your landing pages, your default header, and then that's about it. So this is a quick overview of the payments portal. We have a lot more detailed videos as well, but this should give you a comprehensive overview of how to get started and how to actually use this in action.